Are you concerned about keeping your personal data safe and sound? Well, you're in the right place. In this video, we're diving deep into Android privacy settings, your secret weapon for guarding your data, but we're not stopping there. We'll not only explain these settings, but we'll also walk you through exactly how to set them up. So make sure you stick around and watch the entire video to become a privacy pro. Manage application access. When you download a new app, it often asks for access to your personal info, and we usually grant those permissions without a second thought. But here's the thing. You can still review these permissions in your Android device that lets you take back control. Let's say you want to review and possibly revoke some permissions. It's easy. Just go to your device's settings and look for the permissions manager. You'll usually find it in the apps section, but if you're having trouble locating it, no worries. Just use the search function. Once you're in the permissions manager, you'll have all the permissions. Click on any of them and you'll see which apps have access. If you spot any that seem fishy or unnecessary, you can quickly revoke those permissions. It's your data after all, you should have the final say. If you wanna know about apps that track and share your personal data with third parties, check our video on that. The link is in the description and I button. Opt out of ads personalization. Privacy is a big deal and one major player in the game is those ever curious advertisers. Yep, they're always on the prowl, trying to scoop up as much of your data as they can get their hands on. Google's in on the action too, using your sensitive info for those oh-so-personalized ads. But guess what? There is an option to stop this circus, which is opt out of the ad personalization. How to do it? Easy peasy. Open your Android settings, click on Privacy, and look for Ads. If you're in a hurry, just type Ads in the Settings search. Once you're there, give Delete Advertising ID a tap and confirm your decision by hitting that button. It's your data, so you call the shots. Prevent location tracking. All right, time for the next move, shutting down that nosy location tracker. Your location is like a treasure chest for your phone's privacy and we need to protect it. Sure, apps like maps and ride sharing need to know where you are, but what's up with music apps or games snooping around? Let's take action. Pop into your permissions manager and give location a tap. Now here's where the magic happens. If you spot any app that's got its hands in the cookie jar when it shouldn't, just hit deny. It's your turf and you're the boss of your location. Change the lock screen control. Let's talk about a feature of your Android device, smart lock. It lets your phone stay unlocked when you're at places like home or the office. Pretty convenient, right? But here's the twist. Convenience sometimes comes with a price. Any curious stranger could stroll right in and that's not what we want. Our recommendations skip the smart lock and go for the classic tough to crack pins and passwords. Throw in a bit of complexity so no one can easily guess their way in. Also, don't forget to hide notifications content from prying eyes on your lock screen. To tweak your lock screen settings, head to your phone's settings, find notification and status bar, and look for lock screen. In lock screen notifications, pick do not show or show app only to keep your private stuff under wraps. And if you've already fallen for smart lock, no worries. To break up with it, navigate to settings, password and security, and system security. If you're in a hurry, just search for it. Then enter your password and turn off on body detection. Also remove any trusted places or devices. Last but not least, it's time to level up your PIN or password. Head to Settings, tap on Password and Security, and select Lock Screen Password. Now strengthen your PIN, password, or pattern with more complicated one. Your phone's a vault. Make sure it stays locked. Enable Message Protection. Let's keep those private chats, well, private. One way to do that is by making sure your Google Messages app has what we call end-to-end -end encryption. It's like a secret code for your messages, making sure they're only readable by the folks you want. Here's how to check it. Open up your messages app and dive into a chat. Look closely. If you spot a tiny lock icon beneath your message, that's the golden seal of end-to-end -end encryption. It's like a digital vault for your texts. But why stop there? You've got some fantastic alternatives that take your messaging security up a notch. 
Think about apps like Signal, WhatsApp, or Telegram. They've got your back with end-to-end -end encryption for not just messages, but also your calls and videos. That's like wrapping your conversations in a digital fortress. Pretty cool, right? Use the Find My Devices feature. The Find My Device feature is like having a digital guardian angel. Not only can it help you locate your device if it's lost or stolen, but it can also step in as your personal data bodyguard. If all hope is lost, you can even remotely lock your device and wipe out all your sensitive info. Ready to activate this guardian angel? Here's what you do. Head to Settings, then click on Password and Security, and finally System Security. There, you'll see Find My Device. Just flip the switch and you're good to go. Disable camera and microphone access. We've already discussed controlling your camera and microphone through the permissions manager. But hey, there's an even quicker trick up our sleeves if you want to disable them temporarily for all your apps. Just slide down that shortcut menu. You know, the one where you toggle Wi-Fi on and off. There, you'll find the camera and microphone switches. Click them off and voila, no one hears and sees you. What if you can't spot these buttons? No worries. Just tap on the three dots and select Edit Tiles. From there, you can easily add the camera and microphone shortcuts so you're always in control. Turn on two-factor authentication. Strong passwords are like the sturdy locks on your digital doors, but let's add an extra layer of security to keep those virtual intruders at bay. That's where two-factor authentication swoops in to save the day. With this, your phone will receive a secret one-time code. If anyone tries to sneak into your account from another device, they'll need this unique code. It's like having a security bouncer at the door. Setting up two-factor authentication is easy. Just pop open your browser, head to your Google account, and click on Manage Your Google Account. From there, jump into the Security tab and find Two-Step Verification. You'll confirm it's really you by entering your password or device password, then just click Try It Now and follow the on-screen instructions. So let's get that extra layer of security in place and keep your Google account safe. Allow for automatic updates. Keeping your phone's operating system updated is like giving it a superhero suit to fend off sneaky villains. In this case, the bad guys are those potential threats that lurk in outdated software. Hackers are notorious for exploiting these vulnerabilities to snatch sensitive data or plant malware, so staying updated is your best defense. Here's how to stay ahead of the game. Dive into your phone's settings and search for the Auto Update feature. Choose whether you want to update over Wi-Fi or mobile data. There's even an Auto Update Overnight option in case you don't get time to update in daylight. But don't stop there, you need to update your apps too. Head over to the Google Play Store. Click your profile icon and tap on Settings. There, you'll find Network Preferences, then Auto Update Apps. Take your pick between over Wi-Fi only or over any network to ensure all your apps are always in tip-top shape. So go ahead, give your phone that super secure makeover. That's it for this video. If it does help you, press the like button and share it with your friends. We keep uploading videos related to computer security, so subscribe to our channel and press the bell button to make sure you don't miss anything.